Hello, it is Saturday the 8th of April 2017 and you're watching the 8th in my video blog series. My name is Graeme Campbell and I have been a councillor in South Lanarkshire representing the people of Avondale and Stonehouse since 2007. This time next month the election will be over and I'll either be returned for another five years or not, as the case may be. Um, so this week I would like to concentrate on the single transferable vote and therefore the voting system that has been used uh, as part of the Scottish local elections uh, since 2007, again in 2012 and again this year uh, on Thursday the 4th of May 2017. Being from Northern Ireland, I grew up with the STV voting process, but I do understand that it has not been widely used um, in the UK and therefore can still seem quite confusing to some people. So hopefully uh, in this blog, um, I will be able to uh, bring anyone interested up to speed on what the STV process is and how to best use it. I did go looking on YouTube to see if I could find some uh, short videos from the Scottish Government that would explain the uh, STV voting process, but quite frankly, I couldn't find any this year. Um, uh, the videos that I could find were either from Canada or Northern Ireland, and therefore I really didn't think they were that appropriate uh, ahead of the Scottish local elections. So the best that I can offer um, in this vlog is my own view and my own opinion of how you can best use the STV uh, voting process uh, to get the council that you think is most appropriate um, after the 5th of May 2017. And yes, I do mean the 5th of May because despite the election being on the 4th of May, the counting will not actually be done until Friday the 5th of May. So uh, for based on five years ago, it will be sometime mid-afternoon before we know what South Lanarkshire Council will look like for the next five years. There are 20 wards in total in South Lanarkshire Council and we are Ward 5, Avondale and Stonehouse. By geography, Ward 5, Avondale and Stonehouse is a fairly large constituency running from the M74 and Canterside Toll in the east right the way through to the East Ayrshire border in the west and to the north the ward now stops at Althouse. Until last year and the Boundary Commission changes, Ward 5 did run into parts of Lindsay Field and the south of East Kilbride. But as I said, the Boundary Commission changed last year and the ward now stops to the north at Althouse. The Boundary Commission changes also mean that from 2017 onwards and the election on May the 4th, there will be only three councillors representing Avondale and Stonehouse in Ward 5. I know this is hard to read, but this is a list of all eight candidates that have now been nominated and passed the nomination process to stand for election on May the 4th, uh, looking to represent Ward 5 Avondale and Stonehouse. Hopefully you can see this slide a lot better and therefore you can see all eight candidates a lot better. So from the top, you've got myself representing the Scottish Conservative and Unionist Party, uh, one Labour candidate, two SNP candidates, one Independent this year, one Lib Dem, one uh, Scottish Green Party candidate and even a UKIP candidate. For those of you wondering why I'm at the top of the list and will be at the top of the ballot paper, it's simply to do with me being in alphabetical order and Campbell being uh, at the top of the list and it's for no other reason that I'm there. By now all of you will have received this fantastic piece of literature through the door from the Scottish Electoral Commission. It's only about six pages long and will take you ten minutes to read cover to cover. Uh, but it does go into a lot of detail about how the single transferable voting system works. And therefore, if you are in any doubt at all, I would recommend you take the ten minutes and read this document. It also describes who is entitled to vote this year. And the bottom line is, if your 16th birthday is before the 4th of May 2017, you are entitled to vote in the Scottish local elections this year. OK, let's look at the STV process in a little bit more detail. Remember that I said that there are eight candidates standing for three seats here in Avondale and Stonehouse. That means that you have the opportunity of voting for all eight candidates and ranking them in your preference from one to eight. 
But you don't have to vote for all eight. You can vote for one or as many as you actually want. The STV voting system is sometimes referred to as proportional representation. But however you look at it, on around mid-afternoon on Friday the 5th of May 2017, the community of Avondale and Stonehouse will elect three new councillors to represent them in South Lanarkshire Council for the next five years. For any candidate to win outright, they will need somewhere between 850 and 950 first preference votes. The final numbers required will be determined by the turnout of voters on the day. The great thing about the STV voting system is it does give the independents or the smaller parties a real chance of getting elected. And I was proof of that in 2012 when I got elected as an independent and Lynn Filshi got elected in 2007. I'm not going to bore you now on the process of elimination and therefore how candidates are eliminated from the process and how candidates win. But you can find lots of great videos on the STV voting system on YouTube from other countries that have been using it for a lot longer than here in Scotland. Right, this is a little bit dangerous, but I've been asked how I'm going to vote on May the 4th this year. I'm obviously going to give myself my first preference vote. And yet the great news is we're allowed to vote for ourselves. Who would guess it um, that Graham Campbell is going to get Graham Campbell's first preference vote? My big dilemma, however, is who am I going to give my second preference vote to? Quite frankly, I've got two choices here. The first of which is to give my second preference vote to Margaret Cooper. If she's watching this, I know she's going to be surprised uh, when I say this. But, you know, I've enjoyed working with Margaret over the last five years. And I do think she's got a real chance of getting elected again for another five years. Giving my second preference vote to Margaret is doing one of two things. It's giving Margaret a real chance to get elected, but it's also denying my second preference vote to the SNP, the party in my mind that want to ruin Scotland with a second referendum. While I'm no fan of the Labour Party, I have to say that the SNP have been an appalling opposition over the last 10 years and quite frankly embarrassing in South Lanarkshire. I know that they're uh, putting up a number of brand new candidates and therefore I really do hope that they are going to be a better uh, opposition. And I do mean an opposition again going forward for the next five years. My second option for my second preference vote is to Alistair Hendry, who's standing as an independent here in Ward 5 Avondale and Stonehouse. I have to say that I don't know Alistair, but I have read some of his election manifestos. And while I have to admit that some of his ideas are very good, in fact, they're very similar to mine in a lot of cases, despite a lack of substance and how he's going to deliver them, um, actually giving my vote to an independent is quite important to me. And, you know, the one great thing about the PR or the SDV voting system is it's great for independents. I got re-elected in 2012 and uh, Lynn Filshi got elected in 2007. And I think independents are really good in Scottish local government. But that is where my ballot paper will stop on May the 4th. 2017, I am only going to vote for three candidates split between myself, Margaret Cooper and Alistair Hendry. I will not be voting for any of the other candidates. And there you have it, folks. There is my view of the single transferable voting system and how you can best use it to achieve the outcome that you desire for your council going forward after May this year. Even if you haven't voted for me on the 4th of May and I am re-elected, I do take this role very seriously and I will support and help any constituent that approaches me with a problem here in Avondale. I would still be very grateful if you would give me your first preference vote because I really would like a mandate uh, in 2017 going forward for the next five years that will enable me to really push hard to try and deliver the priorities that I think are needed uh, here in Avondale, uh, St Straven, Stonehouse and in rural Avondale. So whatever the outcome, this time next month we will know what South Lanarkshire will look like for the following five years. My name is Graham Campbell and I'm the Conservative and Unionist Party candidate for South Lanarkshire Council, Ward 5, Avondale and Stonehouse, asking for your support on Thursday the 4th of May 2017. Thank you for watching.